Hello guys, welcome to Georgia's tutorial and today we're gonna create a super easy smooth scrolling using just jQuery. So what are we waiting for? As you can see it's really really smooth. So let's get started. Now let's get started but before that I want to show you we have already embedded the main jQuery file, the scroll JS that we're gonna write soon and the style sheet that's only for the button. Now let's do it. First we're gonna create a div element that's only to activate the small tool and nothing else. It's optional button because we're enabling it through a click. Now we're done. Now we're gonna add some dummy images just to have some dummy content that we will scroll now. And let's write some image and here you will see how fast I type. Literally. I have fast forwarded the video and now we are done as you can see we have created and reloaded now we're gonna add an ID to the element or the image we're gonna scroll to just for unique identification it will make our code easier to understand and now reload and we are done our HTML markup is complete now we're gonna move to my favorite part that is the jQuery. Now let's move to the scroll of JS. I swear it will be so easy. Now first what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign an event to the div that we have created in our HTML part. And that event will be a click event. And after that, we're going to play with some numbers. Now, after signing, as you can see, we're going to scroll to the smooth scrolling image. And to scroll to that image, what all we need to get is the offset of the image. As we are scrolling vertically, we need to get the top offset. If we would have been scrolling horizontally then we would need it to get the left offset and nothing else that was the play with the numbers all we need to get the top offset of the image or left according to the requirement how you're going to scroll and now finally the most important and most easy part that is we will be animating the scroll top property of the body element and the value for the scroll top will be the offset of the element that we are scrolling to. And finally, a time. It's all up to you. And now, we are done. Let's give it a try. As you can see, it's working really nice and smooth. And that's why it is called smooth scrolling. It's so adorable. And finally, we have did it. It was so easy for us. Make sure you hit the like button if you liked it and that's it for this video. Now if you liked it you can try watching a previous video that was on jQuery selector or you can try watching other one that was on edX live search. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more because we make new tutorial every week. Don't forget to follow us on Google Plus and Facebook.